can draw the sun or the stars and the moon. I can draw anything. How about you? Ready, set, draw! Hi everybody, I'm Steven Savage. I'm the author and illustrator of Moonlight. Today we're gonna to do some relief printing. That's the technique that I used in Moonlight. Here, look. I used a linoleum block. I put ink on it and then I pressed it down onto a piece of paper. So you see how the block lines up perfectly over the image. But of course everything's in reverse. Notice the airplane is here, the ship is here, and the hummingbird is here. So you're printing it just like a rubber stamp. I used linoleum for moonlight, but today we're gonna do something called calligraphy. And calligraphy is just a fancy word for gluing things down on a board, inking them, and then printing. I'm gonna recreate a scene from Moonlight, a beautiful scene of a ship sailing across the ocean with dolphins chasing it. You know what? I think I need some help here. Rocco. Hey, Steven. Hey, Rocco. Can you help out today? Sure. You're gonna need this. A bagel. I love bagel. Ah. That's for later, Rocco. I'm gonna print with this? You're gonna print with that. Listen, it's a surprise. I'll, I'll explain later. If you say so. Excellent, Rocco. Okay, everybody. Ready, set, draw. For print, I have a piece of foam here. I'm gonna draw the shapes that appear in the picture, cut them out, glue them down to this board, and then we're gonna go from there. Let's start with a little horizon there and then we'll add our ship. We're gonna draw a long, flat shape. And then, of course, two rectangular shapes that make the smokestacks. Draw some waves, too, creating a big wake behind it. These waves are just two curvy lines touching each other, two semicircular lines. Now I'm going to draw a couple of dolphins that are racing and trying to catch up with that ship. Let's draw a couple of dolphin tails. And guess what? One of those dolphins is actually jumping out of the water. There she goes, trying to catch up to that ship. So now I have my pieces drawn on the foam. Now I need a pair of scissors and I'm gonna actually cut these shapes out. You can use safety scissors or you can ask a grown-up for help. Here we go. Here we're cutting out the ship. Now we're cutting out the dolphin. Hey, here's the wake of the ship. Look, my image is coming together here. Here's a straight line for the horizon where the ocean meets the sky. Let's make some extra waves. So now we've cut out all our shapes, it's time to arrange them. So here we have our ship. Now remember when we print, this is going to appear on this side of the picture. It's going to be in reverse. So we, here we have our horizon line, and then we have the wake behind our ship, and we can make adjustments as we go. And let's not forget our dolphin tails here. Let's place the waves in the picture. And you'll notice that when the waves are back in the distance, they're a little bit smaller. So let's make sure we have some small waves. And the fun of making a print like this is you can make adjustments along the way. And if you don't like how something's positioned, you can change it. It's like making a collage. Now that we have all the shapes in place, we're ready to glue them down. I'm gonna glue the shapes down with some white glue. So take some of your white glue and spread it on the back of the shape. And flip it over and press it into place. 
That looks about right. I like it right there. Okay, we have our ship in place. Let's do these other shapes. So you can see my print is getting a little bit messy here, but that doesn't matter because this is just the block that we're printing from. Ink is going to cover all of this mess and it's going to look great when we print it. Whew, that was the last piece. So we're going to let this dry a little bit. That'll give us time to pick our ink color and our paper. I really like this color blue. Let's use this. So now it's time to mix our ink. I'm going to use two colors and mix them together. I'm going to use a little bit of white and a little bit of turquoise. Here's a little bit of white paint. And then I'm gonna mix just a little bit of turquoise in there. And I can adjust the color as I go. I put the ink on a big piece of plexiglass and mix it together with my trowel from the hardware store. And it's a little bit thick, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. I want a little bit more white, because it's a little bit too blue right now. Okay, I think the ink is all mixed. You're gonna need a roller for this part. Now we're inking up our roller. Now it's time to ink the block. Let's do it. We want to make sure we've got ink on all of our little cutouts. I think we're ready to print. You ready? So now we need our beautiful piece of moonlight blue paper and we're going to lay it down on top of our inked block. We press with our hand. I can feel all those shapes underneath. So as I press with my hand, the ink on the block is being pressed onto the bottom of the paper. All right, I think we're ready to see how our print looks. Drum roll. Now, I see something that isn't printing, so I'm gonna go back and touch it up with my thumb. Ta-da! So this looks great, but I think we're missing something. Hmm. Hey, Rocco. I'm back, and I did not eat the bagel. Congratulations. I did slice it, though. It's round, it's moon-shaped. Perfect for printing a moon. Well, let's do it. Give it a try. Put the bagel in the ink. Will do. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's perfect. Right here? Looks good to me. Down, down, down. Beautiful. Do I press? Yes, press. And maybe a slight twist. Take it up? Yeah. Amazing, my friend. And I see craters and everything. You did it. Looks just like the moonlight in my book. It does. I'd love to see what you've created. Share your print with us using the hashtag ReadySetDraw. Ah, oh, it's green cheese. Phew. <laughs> hey, I'm glad we had this time together on Ready, Set, Draw. See you next time.